All right, let's see if we can dive into Adobe Audition a little bit here. This is the interface, the user interface, and it's probably going to look like this. All these panels over here are uh, changeable and movable and that type of thing. But basically, this is what you'll see when you open Adobe Audition. Let's go to File, and let's do a new multi-track session. And let's call it UMass Tutorial. Now, this is where this project file is going to end up. So you can either look and see where it's going to end up so you know where to get it later. Or you can tell it to go to a new place on your drive. We're not going to use a template. We are going to use a sample rate. I'll talk about sample rate and bit depth a lot more. But we're going to stick with 44100 and a bit depth of 16. We have some choices, but that's what we're going to use right now for audio recording only. And I'm going to choose a mix for mono at this point. We have a choice of mono or stereo. So let's go with mono and hit OK. Oh, I already... I already called one that. I was testing this out before I did my real video. So here we go. We have multi-tracks here. And I'm just going to simply drag in uh, audio. So here I am in my Finder. Let's go to one of my clients here. Good old Tammy. She's great. And she sent me some things that she recorded. Oh, uh, she lives out in California. So I'm going to take that file and put it on my little shelf. That's some just dragging and dropping. And the sample rate that she recorded this at remotely at her location is different. So it's going to convert it. That's what this little message here is telling me. So it's converting it to our sample rate of 41, 44,100 kilohertz. And there it is. So I can play. Here's the timeline, and I hit my space bar. Okay, this is episode three, your why. Create your personal mission statement. So I just dragged a file and dumped it onto a track. That's how simple it is to put a track that we record into Adobe Audition. Now, there's lots of things we can do here. There's a lot of editing we can do here. And uh, bear with me because I'm learning Adobe Audition along with you. Uh, I'm an Audacity guy. That's my 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 digital audio workstation is audacity uh, but this is a very very professional uh, digital audio workstation so we could do things here like highlight and just delete so i took that whole section where she's talking to me and deleted it and now it starts where i wanted to thank you for joining me let's turn the volume up a little bit so this little guy right here, let's just crank that up just a little bit. Thank you for joining me. Okay, now the cool thing about working here in the multi-track view is that that edit I just made is non-destructive. So I can pull that back and I did not lose that audio. We're gonna move into waveform later and I just want you to know that when we go to waveform, it is destructive. Whatever you do in there is permanent. But this is a good place to learn and uh, try some things because you can always pull it back. There's also this little history uh, block down here, this card. And this lets you go back in time, too. So it's like a you know, graphic design program. Now, let's take and dump in some audio, shall we? I've got some fanfare. And this is royalty-free. Of course, everything we do is going to have royalty-free music in it. And we'll dump that guy right there. And this is probably too loud, so I'm just going to crank it down a little bit. And I'm just grabbing that little volume here. Oops. I'm going to move my cursor back over here, hit my space bar. It's way too loud. It's inappropriate. But thank you for. I just wanted to show you 
how to dump music into there. So we're going to be much more creative than that, much more professional than that. But for this purpose, I just wanted to show you how to navigate your first uh, few uh, skills in Adobe Audition.